These three artifact commanders need more love. Glissa the Traitor. I love the idea of pairing her with the Necrons. This will give Necrons the access to green which seems powerful in itself, but we can also use Glissa to reanimate all of our important stuff. All we have to do is ensure that our opponent's creatures keep dying, which is going to be pretty fun and easy to do. Osgur. This guy's a value machine. You can draw double the cards, you can ramp twice as hard, and you can double up on those amazing artifacts. People struggle to close out the game in value-based decks like this, but honestly, if we can double up on our tokens and just play massive artifact creatures, I think we can win through good old-fashioned combat damage. Finally, we have Gazaleth Prismari. It kind of blows my mind this dragon isn't more popular. There's so many routes. You could go Cheerios, you could go treasure tokens, you could blink this guy to oblivion to create a lot of treasure tokens. In fact, infinite treasure tokens all we need is a gold span dragon a dead eye navigator and a ganax and congratulations you have infinite mana and infinite etbs and we only got there with four cards am i right